I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. Hey, you guys, gonna take a look and see how your weekend is going to pan out from today through November 5th. Okay, see what the messages are. Okay, you're starting with the butterfly. And one more. Okay, all right, you've got the butterfly, you've got axe, and you have talking. Okay, so relationship evolving to the next phase okay healing the inner child and growth you also have acts break up separation stopping the pattern silent treatment abandonment and you also have talking um interested connecting more awaited message arrives text call email and hoovering okay so it looks like um something ends and something begins something new flourishes okay um so if you're going through a breakup or something has ended or you end something over the weekend or someone ends something with you over the weekend it looks like there's going to be some talking with somebody new um yes definitely that energy you've got the page of cups here so there's definitely some sweet conversation that will be, be will be beginning will be starting sweet text messages some flirting that kind of thing um so yeah i mean it looks kind of like if someone is not talking to you or giving you has been giving you the silent treatment looks like you're done with that you're just going to start talking to somebody else maybe you already have but it looks like you will be starting to communicate with somebody else Let's take a look and see. So there's definitely going to be some sweet messages. Yeah, you've got the world. So, hmm, kind of feels like you're done with something. Starting a new chapter in your life. You're not hanging around, I guess, for <laughs> waiting for something. Um, or someone to reach out. Just someone that's just given a relationship the axe. You're just like starting over here. <clears throat> These boots are made for walking. I guess you're just going to keep moving. Here, yeah, cutting somebody out. Um, somebody broke up. Silent treatment can be really harsh. Um, <clears throat> it's very harsh treatment. It's not nice. It's not being nice. Um, yeah, it's not nice. <clears throat> or just not responding or just ditching somebody. Um, yeah, so it looks like this weekend you're going to start talking to somebody new. Let's take a look and see who you might be communicating with let's go oh my gosh yeah you got the knight of cups so there's definitely romance over this weekend you get either going out with someone this weekend meeting up with someone very romantic affectionate energy oh wow page of wands yeah fun doing something fun flirty could be going to like a sports game or going to play some golf or do getting like it's kind of, I kind of get a sense of like feeling like getting together with someone this weekend and going to do something fun you know it's not just I mean you could like you could be going to have dinner and drinks that kind of thing or meeting up with someone and doing some like having something to eat or drink that kind of thing but it's also <clears throat> it also feels like also doing something you know some type of an activity because the page of wands is like a very active card it's like talking about okay do you want it like even going for a walk or maybe going to work out or go run or um you know just it's about movement it's about action so it's doing something as well so yeah it looks like um it could be a date or just getting together with someone it's romantic it's flirty it's fun it's super exciting something maybe much needed especially if you were involved with someone <clears throat> and 
you know, there's a separation or a breakup or someone's just, you know, giving you the silent treatment. So it looks like you're going to accept an offer this weekend to go somewhere or do something fun, flirty, have a good time, leave the past in the past. Okay, let me see what else is showing up for the weekend for you. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with this, but it feels like if you, okay, like I don't know exactly what happened with um, a situation here, but there's someone who's very curious. If you're going out, <clears throat> having a good time, um, living your best life now, or just just going out with friends and not for and just kind of like okay well we're not talking and so nothing's happening and you're just kind of dropping the ball and saying all right see ya I feel like that person that you are not I guess I want to say chasing that maybe you're kind of just like being low-key energy and just walking away from just like whatever is really curious about what you're doing and they're just telling me some of you might be going to a baseball game they're just telling me this now okay so there might be a baseball game this weekend <laughs> or something to do with some kind of sport where they hold like um like a bat or a, a stick of some sort okay um but apart from that there is an energy of somebody who's kind of creeping or spying to see. I don't know if you go out or you do something this weekend and there's somebody who's looking to see if you post pictures. Listen, we're in this day and age. If you post pictures of your weekend out, they're like somebody looking for you <clears throat> to see where you are or where you've gone. Or I don't know if they find out from friends if you have mutuals to see what you're doing. Why would somebody be doing that if they are, uh, if somebody ended something with you, then that would be odd, unless they ended it because they didn't think you were interested, but they were still interested in you. <clears throat> or if you ended something with them and they were still interested in you. Yeah, there's definitely kind of like, hmm, Wanting to know what you're up to. Yeah. Are you going out for drinks? See, um, if you go to like a restaurant or a bar, they're going to be looking up that restaurant or that bar to see if they can catch glimpses of you. That's kind of stalkery. <laughs> okay. Because they're giving me like the temperance is always my bartender card. <clears throat> Um, okay, so you have the Fool and the Ten of Cups. Wow, so I feel like whoever the person is that's watching or trying to find out what's going on, <clears throat> there is this kind of narrative that's running through their head that they've lost you to the point where now you're free to take it all the way with somebody else. So like I said, I don't know what the situation is with you and this person. You know, I don't know if like they know that you're free now to, to do that. I don't know if that's bothering them or not. I know that they're curious about that. Uh, they might, Maybe they're happy for you. I'm not really sure. They might be. They might not be. But they're definitely curious to see if that is something that you're freeing yourself up to do. Okay, look, you've got the lovers. Yeah, so this that's definitely an energy that's playing out here this weekend with this person. Um, and it looks to me like, you know, it's coming to you. It looks like it's coming this way. Well, your way, not this way, but it looks like it's coming your way. Okay, to have that 
you know, I know it's cliche, but to say like happily ever after, if that's something that you want, you know, um, I, I will say that the person is curious about that, but I don't like, there's nothing in the cards that tells me that they're angry or unhappy about it and, or that they're sad about it. Oh, <laughs> now I just saw the five of cups, so. There might be a little bit of regret and remorse, okay? They could be an earth sign. <clears throat> they could have earth in their chart somewhere. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could have earth in your chart somewhere. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, there could be a little bit. Okay, okay. So I kind of feel like, hmm... Well, there's a little bit of a question, like, um, will you choose another person over them? It, they might be asking themselves that. I kind of feel like the, the message I'm getting with this person is should have struck when the iron was hot. So there's a little regret, but at the same time, um, they would be happy for you, too. Do you know what I mean? If you found someone that you could have, um, that you could find your happiness with, like like that you could have the most benefit with. I don't know why they feel that way. Maybe they didn't feel like they could bring that to you. There's a possibility. They may have felt like they weren't able to meet you where you needed them to meet you. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I see great a great opportunity here for you. I see like... You know, the Ten of Cups and the Lovers, I mean, it looks good for you, you know. Um, I mean, sometimes things end for a reason, and sometimes uh, trying to sort out the whys is just going to take up so much of your energy and your time. It's usually just better to just accept it and just move on and uh, experience the fullness of life going forward and trying to figure out why this happened, why that happened, you know. Uh, sometimes it's better to just low-key energy and just be like, well, it is what it is, you know, not take it personally. Sometimes, sometimes people just aren't a great match and it's nothing wrong with either one of them, you know, uh, that's just my take. Let's get a couple other messages and see what else is going on because I feel like you have something pretty, pretty awesome to look forward to starting this weekend. It looks at least like a lot of fun and some enjoyment and happiness. To, to begin this weekend so I feel like that's always the best course of action for you to just be happy to, to find some joy in your weekend to start there I feel like if you can just get into that place with someone that you can spend some time with where you're laughing what's better than that <laughs> what is better than that to just have a few laughs to have a great weekend that's the best that's just the best right so I feel like you've got that coming to you okay yeah so this person there is a little bit of regret then you might have a little on your side as well like oh uh, kind of bum bummed out that there something didn't work out but it's okay you know that heals let's see what else do you have all right some of you have a girls or a guys night out with some friends this weekend which is a good thing so i don't feel like your date is going to happen all weekend <laughs> I feel like it'll be one night maybe or the getting together with someone one night this weekend will happen. I do feel like you may ha also have um, some time with some friends over the weekend as well because we did see the three of cups and that can be um, <clears throat> having like your soul tribe with you. It doesn't have to be an, at night. It could be during the day having lunch or just getting together with some family members as well. Looks good. So it looks... I kind of feel like your weekend is a little uh, social. Maybe not overly social. For some, it could be. For others, it could be just plans being made over this weekend for another time to go maybe to a game or to do something, go out on a romantic date of some sort. I feel like you've got holiday coming up, positive energy, good vibes coming up. Some of you are working on uh, learning some new skills or learning a new skill for either your your job or something that you're just trying to 
improve some self-improvement some type of new skill you're going to be practicing or learning this weekend or working on over this weekend which is great yeah and here's a message from an admirer coming in this weekend for you as well and then of course spying online so you know as i always say if you don't want someone to spy on you online then don't be online if you don't want anyone knowing your business online then don't be online that's the surefire way that's the surefire way so that nobody knows what you're doing always um okay let me see is there any other messages let me just get you a charm and then i'm gonna sign off for the weekend for you looks pretty looks pretty cool i hope you meet somebody great something that fits someone that fits you that someone that you gel with it's really awesome wow okay let's see here so you have for your charm for the weekend you have a strawberry how sweet so maybe you'll get some strawberry ice cream or you will share some strawberry jolly ranchers strawberry bubble gum some of you might put some color in your hair red color in your hair or uh, just have some strawberries with some chocolate Mm. <laughs> something to do with strawberry very significant maybe you're eating strawberries right now that could be somebody's nickname strawberries are significant and you know well at least well i don't think it's strawberry season <laughs> it's definitely not so that is pretty significant so if something shows up over this weekend to do with strawberries i hope you remember this read because it will be pertaining more so specifically for you all right, so I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you all back here next week. Take care. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the peace.